Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you know this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Now, God damn, the cheese man yesterday was flaming hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could not catch a break. I feel like lately I've been on overtime, on overdrive, and on everything. You know what I'm saying? Aside from that, let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. And it goes to... Poncho can't even catch up with all the cheese man. There are so many updates on those two stories now with Austin and Daisy's story. Oh my God! Zaming. Now, the first thing that we're going to be talking about, the main thing that I seen yesterday. Now, flag in Dublin, the Ace family. Oh my God gosh i was literally in tears i'm talking about literally i was breaking down i said it can't be possible but this happened mine so Catherine posted on her instagram as i start this new year i will challenge myself in ways that i have never done before 2024 will be my year of transformative change and with this taking place one of the steps in my journey is difficult decision to leave my marriage no <laughs> We have mutually agreed to a divorce and will part amicably. Our paths as a couple have shifted and has created challenges that are irreconcilable. Well, God damn, what's up with these big words? This decision comes with a very heavy heart. And as heartbreaking as this is, I also feel liberated. She's free, free falling. Yeah. I have spent the past few years prioritizing my children, honoring my commitment to my family, all while I seem to be losing myself and my own personal happiness. Our main priority would be stay united as parents as to continue creating a stable, happy, and loving environment for our children. Thank you, all of my supporters, for giving me a safe space to be able to use my voice and share our love. I love you you all so much and i'm beyond grateful for all the support we received from you throughout all these years as a couple and austin you're my best friend and that will never change change and if you read the comments you can see fans are upset this guy named panchito commented this can't be true i'm in tears right now i'm legit crying not my favorite mermaid so make sure to comment down below what do you guys think of the whole situation for this new year i'll be taking a leap of faith and i made the hardest decision of my life the decision to close the book to my marriage we have mutually agreed to divorce, but we remain a team when it comes to our kids. We created one of the greatest stories, almost a decade together. So many memories, so many accomplishments, but every book comes to an end. And now we'll be writing a new book as separate authors. Okay. We both understand that holding one is believing that there's only a past and letting go is knowing that there's a future. And we both are supporting each other's future. This transition is not easy, but we'll both be making it as easy as it can for our family. We will continue to be the best parents to our kids. Separations are difficult and most times messy, but you will see how we'll push through these difficult times as a unit and keep influencing with love and positivity with that being said 2024 will be life-changing for me i will be dedicating to myself my kids my health my body my mind my spirit and god thank you to everyone who has supported us through our journey and will continue to support us moving forward we're going to need this even more of your love and strength during this time no it's a bank. now i haven't done this in a minute but i think it's about time that we do it because what just happened Now, if you guys missed it, basically, they said they're going to divorce. Now, I don't know. It's because of maybe Austin McBroom. He, he got caught up for double dipping. Maybe he's reaching out to OF girls and trying to be, you know, this whole manager. But what I do know is based off the comments, it appears that everyone's happy for Kathleen. Austin McBroom. She's gonna be shining bright like a diamond in the star. I am kind of offended though. She deleted my comment when I commented on her Instagram. I said my not my favorite mermaid, something along the lines, and she removed it. That means she knows who I am. <laughs> and if you guys didn't see, Shyla LaBeouf actually responded to the whole situation, and she had this to say: I'm, I can get on here and say what I want to say because they got on the internet as a whole unit and bullied me and lied for like years. So um, this is my business, but. You know, generally it is sad when a family is like breaking up. It's sad. It's going to be a change for the kids. I hope they're doing well. Um, yeah, but I, I, I think they should stay together. I think they're the same person. They deserve each other. And they're like a perfect match in my book. Yeah, people are saying, like, I should blink up and... Yeah. This woman has been a Regina George... Being girl to me since I was 18 years old. 
And I look back and I'm like, why did I, why did I tolerate that? A mean girl to me for years. And then hides behind the guise of like spirituality and like holier than thou. And that is just very, mm, it's like a lack of, I think honestly, Honestly, it has to do with having like a personality disorder, if I had to guess, like a sociopath. And then when you do psychedelics, I think it makes you develop like a godlike complex. And then you're just really lost in the sauce. And then when no one around you holds you accountable for anything, you guys are just like, everybody's lost in the sauce. Everyone's living in the same delusion. And like, now I don't know why Shyla seems so happy. <laughs> like, I feel like Shyla over here is laughing. Shyla's over here having a good time. I don't know why she's so excited. You know what I'm saying? Not, not to be mean to Austin McBroom and Catherine, you know, because Catherine's gonna be glowing up. But anytime, anytime a family's separated, I mean, we don't know what's going on. We don't know if he cheated. It's it's a little sad. And did you guys see what Daisy Marquesita? Now she responded to the whole sickle cell. It's about time that you know she kind of said something rather than nothing after how many years? One, two, three, four. Five. I don't even know how many flagging years. I was getting a lot of hate. Like it was in the in an era where like you could say anything trendy or like you could say tweet anything about me and it would get so much likes and attention i was talking about this with my friends too like back then the internet was so so cruel to me and i just don't know what it was almost like a trend to hate on me and just so you were already getting hate back then aside oh I, from... yeah 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 okay i was getting a lot of hate and like mentally i was super weak i was super weak everybody around me knew that like any little hate or any little comment would get to me and i would cry and i would just like mentally i was just super super vulnerable so mm -hmm. i knew that if i told the internet in 2018 when bbls were not even a thing oh yeah if i were to come out right now that i had bbl it nobody it, would give it. oh yeah right now everybody would nobody would you. give a fuck. but in 2018 mm -hmm. I, everything's fresh if i were to come out with the, that i got a bbl and that's my first surgery i would have gotten dragged through the mud oh yeah and mentally i just was not prepared for that i was not ready for that i knew that like you were Men scared because you were I was already getting terrified. Hate. I was terrified of the internet. I was terrified of like explaining myself. I was terrified. I was honestly and genuinely just a terrified person. That is why I lied. I lied because I was scared and I f***ed up. So I sat down and I made a YouTube video and I lied and I said that I had sickle cell and that's why I was gone off the internet. When honestly, I could have just been like, hey guys, I wasn't feeling good. You know, um, I was off the internet and that's it. But back then, like I said, I was such a people pleaser and I yeah. felt the need to explain absolutely everything in my life yeah. that I felt the need to just sit down and make a whole video about it. Mm -hmm. I really like could have gone off the internet and not even said a word, but no, I made yeah. that video and once I posted it and I read the comments, I realized that I f***ed up really bad. And but you did you did realize that though. i realized like that right away it's not right away like years later like no no right no, away no. You realized? right away i realized and i was like i was like what did i do what did i do and i remember being like if i delete the video right away like it's gonna seem so suspicious so i was like fuck like i once again i fucked up and then i was like i'm gonna keep it up for a little bit and then i'm gonna delete it and i deleted it right away which is like why it's not even on the internet because i realized and then i deleted it and whatever and then I don't remember how much time went by, like months went by and no, and everybody forgot about it. Everybody forgot about it. I was like, okay, like, you know, like I, in the back of mind, I'm like, okay, like I got away with that lie, but then I felt guilty and I was like, fuck, like I feel bad for like, you know, that I lied to my fans and to the fans and to the people that actually watched that video and believe my lie. I am genuinely, genuinely sorry, sorry from the bottom of my heart. Um, you know, I wish I could take it back, but also like, that mistake really has changed me and for the better mm -hmm. i have learned so much and i've grown from that mistake and it took me a long time to apologize to myself especially um for even like i look back at that version of me and i feel bad for her because she was just so broken and just you know like scared and insecure and now if i were to come out with the surgery i don't care to come out and talk about it i'm after that that really taught me to just not lie like, it's just so much easier to not lie. That's why after that, I made myself a promise to just not lie, be open and honest about everything. That's why I came out and I talked about my breast augmentation, my chin lipo, just like, it's just better to be honest. And yeah. I really did learn my lesson and I'm not mad that it came out because I did want to hold myself accountable. And I am glad that I'm addressing it now at mm -hmm. this version and at this time of my life. And 
I, I, that took a lot i bet that took a lot do you feel better like I how do you feel so now? much better now i feel like bram t was not the best option to have there you know what i'm saying because they're friends at the end of the day they're friends so a friend's only gonna be defending a friend <laughs> and I was, like, she was now holding her accountable for <laughs> and not, not only that i feel like it was kind of weird that she was blaming the nurse <laughs> Like she thought, she really thought the nurse diagnosed her. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the nurse didn't do absolutely nothing. She she heard something from the nurse and she ran with it. Really? And did you guys see with Daniel and Lizeth, Mr. Daniel, he, I don't know if he was off the Henny yesterday. I don't know what the flying in Dublin he was on. I tried joining his live, but he got disconnected because he got banned. I don't know for what. Uh, but he had this to say about Miss Lizeth and she responded. Well, just because like, don't, don't be putting other guys or relationship priority. Put your daughter son priority be your be a mother before you're gonna be anything else Real shit, bro that's the shit me off bro stop being a don't be a you want to be a be a i don't give but put be a mother be a mom take care of her you know what i'm saying that's me off chat no cat bro that's the because me i'm a dad bro i'm a good <clears throat> like, I, I do feel bad for my my daughter no cap because this was never in my plans yo chat this was never in my plans bro i was never planning on being a single dad bro no cap i've always planned on like being a good happy and youtube family couple you know what i'm saying that was always always in my plan bro and i i tried to make amends i tried to make to make things work but you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes the other partner doesn't want to make things work. They want to, like, uh, retaliate and they want to, like, you know what I'm saying? And first of all, I didn't cheat, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm just in my feels low key right now, bro. I'm low key heated, bro. No Put your motherhood first, bro. And he keeps saying that that being a single mom was, or a single dad was not in his plans, that us splitting up was not in his plans. Then, then why the fuck did he cheat on me? And then saying, and then, and then now he's saying, what did I tell you? I feel like I lost all my words already. Sophie, like most of the time, she's over here getting blown out, getting fucked and shit, being a. Oh my god. Even I, I even have proof that her mom says. Oh my god, all that stuff in front of my daughter. More than bliss. You me? That seems a lot, bro. Like listen, wow. More than like she being a fucking mother. But he wasn't being a hoe when he went and f some girl or f some girl from Twin Peaks when we were a family. Bro, I'm just pissed off. When we were a whole family, he's he's the one that's pissed off. But he, I'm I'm the hoe. Me, I'm I'm the abusive one. Me about him in front of my daughter. Bro, she's not even paying attention to what I'm No, saying. Sophie's smart. How scared was she today? She was freaked out. She was crying. She was screaming. Now, I'm not sure why, you know, first and foremost, why is he saying this in front of the kid? <laughs> I was like, like, if you have to really rant and say what you got to say and vent, why would you say it in front of your daughter? You know what I'm saying? I feel like that was really weird and unnecessary. Um, Aside from that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said to Lizette, I feel like he's kind of toxic. I've been trying to set up an interview so I can hear him out as a person, but I don't know if he's shy. And then he also said to pay him a thousand dollars. Fool. I don't even pay the people that are big dogs. And you want a thousand dollars? No, seas tarugo, por favor. A thousand. You get a one dollar and a cookie. Y tal vez la cookie. You know what I'm saying? That's being lucky. What the fuck? What's wrong with him? But make sure to comment down below. What do you guys think of the whole situation with Daniel and Lizeth? And for the world news, have you guys seen in California that there's like this, uh, you know, winter storm going on? It's been kind of cold. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been cold. My. So make sure to grab your sweater, make sure your pets are doing good. You know what I'm saying? Because this cold is not a joke. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to smack a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I really do appreciate you guys.